What's up, YouTube? I'm Brandon, proud owner of two G35 coupes. Well, I actually just sold the Silver G. Still pretty sad about it, honestly. This video is all about my most recent project, 100% DIY custom burgundy interior. I started this project in my first G eight months ago. I painted the seats and the upper side panels. Everything else that you're about to see, I did recently, working all weekend for four or five weeks in a row. This isn't a step-by-step how-to video, but I'll show you the process and give you guys some pointers to save you some headache. I'm super excited to share this with everyone. Everything can be removed with a few simple tools. Your basic screwdrivers, Phillips, flathead, socket wrenches with a 10mm and 14mm socket, plastic trim panel removal kit. You're definitely going to want to take pictures of every step while removing everything to make it easier putting it back together. Make sure to disconnect the battery before removing the seats so the airbag doesn't go off. Prep is key when painting. Taking your time to tape and mask off everything properly makes a huge difference. Any laziness will show in the end result. You want every surface that's going to be painted cleaned thoroughly and any dirt and grease removed. Prepping the seats. Here's the tools I used. Prep spray. 3M masking film. Painter's tape. A scuff pad. Brushes. And a drill mount brush. The seats are held down by 14mm bolts and electrical harnesses need to be unplugged underneath the seats. Once you get the seats masked off and cleaned thoroughly, it's ready for paint. I used 10 cans of Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric Spray. I can't stress this enough, super light coats for the first couple and last coats. I did about 7 coats. Make sure to keep shaking the paint can often and don't use the last of the can. It starts to splatter in big drops near the end. The seats are by far the hardest thing to paint and easiest to mess up. It takes a lot of patience and you can't rush it. And here is the finished seats and the upper side panels fresh after I installed it in the first G35. Once I got my new G, I swapped out everything I had already painted. While I had the seats out, I decided to touch up the paint where it started to rub off. I stepped up my prep game and used 3M masking film to create a makeshift paint studio. I used three more coats of the burgundy. This time, I added a couple light coats of the acrylic finisher spray to help seal in the paint and make it more durable. It really made that color pop and shine. So my speakers were blown when I bought the new G, and the amp wasn't working properly. Since I already had the whole car gutted, I bought and replaced the whole sound system with kicker speakers and a new amp. I also added a bazooka tube for bass. The headliner is the most tedious part of the whole project. Removing it is easier than it looks. It's held up by a few screws and plastic clips. Use the trim panel removal tools. There are two screws holding the pool handle, two screws and wire harnesses holding the sun visors, more electrical harnesses are under the card holder, and dome lights. Once that's all removed, you pull the weather strip down off the top of the door and sunroof. Start removing the headliner back to front. There are four plastic clips on the rear that hold it in place. Then slide the sunroof piece out of the back of the rails. Pay close attention to how the black sunroof guides in the corners are before removing. The same goes for the plastic blocks the pool handle screws into. Here's where it gets really interesting. Time to lay down some suede. I used headliner adhesive spray by 3M. I used scissors, razor blades, plastic squeegee tools to lay down the suede flat and get out any air bubbles. First I wrapped the A-pillars and the sunroof, which were pretty easy actually. The headliner was much more difficult to wrap. I suggest spraying the adhesive on small sections at a time, and you'd want somebody to help hold the suede up so it doesn't stick on the wrong spots. The dome light area is the curviest part which makes it the hardest. 
I would start from there and work your way down to the sides. Next, use a razor blade to cut slits in the holes. Cut all the excess, leaving an inch hanging over to wrap on the underside. After letting it sit and dry for an hour, cut a bunch of slits on the underside where there's curves or any tension when it's folded, then glue the excess to the underside. This takes a lot of time, but it's very worth it. The headliner was by far the most frustrating part. Next up, painting the plastic trim pieces. Again, you want to clean and mask off everything properly using press spray, paint tape, and masking film. I used vinyl and fabric spray in burgundy and black, and a clear coat for the final coats. You want to use long, even paint strokes from all angles. Make sure to start and stop each spray off to the side to avoid uneven paint spray and splatter. I used three or four coats of the paint and two or three clear coats. I used extra coats of paint on the sun visors, but to be honest, I don't really recommend it on that material. It feels like crunchy and scratchy. And here's everything after all the coats. Alright, I know my fellow G35 owners can relate to this one. These clock trim pieces are so fragile. Practically impossible to take them out without it breaking. My new G had a ghetto one made out of duct tape and cardboard when I bought it. So you know I was super lucky I found one in a part out for a good deal. Looks so much better now installed and painted. Next up, I wrapped the door panels and rear side panels in suede. First I removed the factory leather then clean it up after. Then I masked it off to avoid overspray of the adhesive. Make sure to cover everything with adhesive spray, but not crazy heavy. Remove the tape and film and let the adhesive dry for a couple minutes. Laying down the suede, work very slowly from one end to the other. It helps to have a friend holding the other end of the suede. After the suede is flat with no air bubbles, let it dry for 20 minutes. After it's dried, cut the excess leaving a half inch around the edges. Tuck in the edges into the crease using the plastic squeegee tool. Here are the finished rear panels looking a little better than I expected. Next, I painted the top of the door panels burgundy before wrapping the center in suede. It's the same process, just a little more difficult. I did half a panel at a time for the doors. I love the contrast of the paint and suede on these. Now that I've got everything painted and wrapped, time for the oh so tedious task of installing everything back in. This is when having pictures of the removal process comes in handy, seriously. I'll save you guys from watching my struggle. Hold on! Man, did you see her interior? <laughs> Smooth in the muffler. Suede on the inside. And here it is. I'm seriously obsessed. It's a whole new vibe sitting in this car. Feels so pimp, classy. For never doing any projects like this before, I'm super proud of how professional it came out. I feel like I did a pretty damn good job. It may be too much red for some, but it turned out exactly how I wanted it. I feel like the pieces I left black really helped balance it out too. This just in guys, I just got the last piece to the puzzle. Diamond Stitch Floor Mats by Manichi Luxury Auto Styling. Custom fit for my G35, it covers almost all the gray carpet. These mats totally give it that extra luxurious feel. So 
so that's it here's the final look I absolutely love it it turned out perfect exactly how I wanted make sure to hit that like button and subscribe also hit me up on my Instagram Donny Bo Dangles Donny underscore Bo underscore Dangles with a Z I'll put the link in the description later I hope you guys liked the video hit up the comments and let me know what you guys think or if you have any questions thanks for watching shout out to these guys for my inspiration be Distinct, Eddie Maya, Whiplash NYC, and Maxi G35. Check out their YouTube channels for more sick G35 content. Also, special shout out to Minichi for the partial sponsor on the floor mats. Thanks, guys.